we need to shift to a regenerative form of agriculture. And that's what I came to talk to you about. I'm here to offer solutions. I'll share just a few of the compelling reasons why this should be one of the biggest solutions that we use to not only combat climate change, but deal with all of the other challenges I mentioned earlier. It turns out that soil can be restored through regenerative farming methods. And recent studies show that these practices could increase in soil organic matter, which is one of the key indicators of soil health and productivity from about one to 2% to 8% and even higher within a short span of five to 10 years. A 1% increase in soil organic matter can help hold over 232,000 liters of water per hectare. Regenerating soil will help restore the ecosystems we depend on and help reverse climate change. Now there are some debates about just how much carbon can be stored in the soil, but I wanna share a few of the well-respected figures with you. Some estimates say that three times more carbon could be stored in the soil using regenerative agriculture practices. And according to a brain trust called Project Drawdown, if regenerative agriculture were adopted on 1 billion acres over the next 30 years, we could offset nearly one third of the total carbon drawdown that we must achieve to restore climate balance. In 2004, Ratan Lal, who's a soil scientist in this field, estimated that these changes could return two thirds of all of the carbon lost from soils and store it productively back underground. And as I've mentioned, there are other benefits. Farmers see their profitability improve due to increased fertility and lowered input cost. And they also have more earning potential because they have more crops in production. These are very attractive benefits and companies, it turns out, can help drive this shift through the engine of their sourcing. So I wanna share with you just a few of the key principles of regenerative farming. In short, it's a holistic approach to agriculture that leverages the power of photosynthesis in plants to build soil health. Regenerative practices include keeping the ground protected with cover crops and growing multiple crops in rotations, including perennials and tree crops keeping roots in the ground by reducing tillage, avoiding chemical pesticides and fertilizers, and integrating animals on farm <clears throat> for natural pest control, manure, and grazing. These practices build uh, fertility and biodiversity, and they also reduce pest and weed pressure using natural systems. At first glance, this sounds like a pre-industrial approach to farming, the kind that's been practiced for millennia. But in fact, many in this movement are also applying new digital technologies to facilitate nature's processes. These include infield sensors, satellite imagery, drones, precision irrigation, and big data analytics that help provide real-time feedback to farmers to make better decisions. Now, I recognize that even if you're motivated by many of the benefits I've described, we work in companies that require a business case. So in this slide, I've outlined the triple bottom line business case for farmers, for companies like brands and consumer products companies, and for the environment. And I'm happy to elaborate on this during our discussion, but I think the points in these slides could be used by any business to quantify in their own context. There are also very strong signals coming from consumers and investors that food and fashion companies in particular should demonstrate progress on environmental and social challenges. A majority of consumers wanna know where their ingredients come from and how they're produced, as well as the impacts that these products we buy and the companies that make them are having. Many surveys and analyses, especially now during this pandemic, show that companies and that are tackling these critical issues of our time are winning investor trust and consumer loyalty. So I want to inspire you. The companies that commit to source regeneratively produced materials demonstrate purpose and impact that those consumers and investors are looking for. They can help reduce those greenhouse gas emissions we've discussed, conserve water, protect biodiversity, and improve livelihoods all while building their own resilience and reducing risks to the business. 